Hello, my name is Carol Walker and I'm the director of the Somme Association. I would like to welcome you to the Ulster Memorial Tower. The Ulster Tower is built on what was the German front line as part of the Battle of the Somme, July to November 1916. It sits opposite Thiepville Wood from where the 36th Ulster Division made their historic charge on the 1st of July 1916. The tower stands some 70 feet tall and is a lasting tribute to the men of Ulster who gave their lives during the First World War, 1914 to 1918. Forever associated with the old Somme battle sites around Thiepval, the tower is more specifically regarded as a memorial to the officers and the men of the 36th Ulster Division. Its position on the battlefield is a permanent reminder of the division's heroic charge at the Battle of the Somme on the opening day of that great offensive. The Ulster Memorial Tower was the first official memorial to be erected on the Western Front and was dedicated on the 19th of November 1921. The tower itself is a replica of the well-known Ulster landmark Helen's Tower, which stands on the Dufferin and Ava estate at Clandyboy, County Down. On the completion of Helen's Tower in 1867, it was dedicated by Lord Dufferin to his beloved mother Helen, Baroness Dufferin, who was the granddaughter of the playwright Richard Binsley Sheridan. It was in the shadow of Helen's Tower that the men of the newly formed Ulster Division drilled and trained on the outbreak of the Great War. For many of the men of the 36th Ulster Division, the distinctive sight of Helen's Tower rising above the surrounding countryside was one of their last abiding memories of home before their departure for England and subsequently the Western Front. When demands grew for the construction of a publicly funded battlefield memorial at Thiepville in honour of Ulster's fallen, Sir James Craig, who later became Northern Ireland's first Prime Minister, backed by many others, proposed at a meeting of subscribers held in Belfast's Old Town Hall on the 17th of November 1919 that the monument should take the form of a prominent Ulster landmark. On Saturday the 19th of November 1921, the completed Ulster Memorial Tower was opened by Field Marshal Sir Henry Wilson, Chief of the Imperial General Staff and Ulster's most famous soldier. The principal room inside the tower is a 16 foot square memorial chamber, faced throughout in stone with the inscription tablet in statutory marble. The inscription reads, this tower is dedicated to the glory of God in grateful memory of the officers, non-commissioned officers and men of the 36th Ulster Division and of the sons of Ulster in other forces who laid down their lives in the Great War and of all their comrades in arms who by divine grace were spurred to testify to their glorious deeds. It is erected on the site of the famous advance of the Ulster Division on the 1st of July 1916. Their name liveth forevermore. Around the walls inscribed in golden letters are the words Helen's Tower, here I stand, dominant over sea and land. Sun's love built me and I hold Ulster's love in lettered gold. These words, with only one alteration, had been written on request by the poet Alfred Lord Tennyson in 1861 and had been engraved on one of the walls of the original Helen's Tower at Clandyboy. Given the circumstances that had led to the construction of the Ulster Memorial Tower at Thiepville, the opening words of the final sentence that had originally began, Mother's Love, was accordingly changed to Ulster's Love. On every wall are plaques and tributes from local authorities and organisations from Northern Ireland and throughout the United Kingdom. On the 1st of July 1989, the Ulster Tower was rededicated in the presence of Her Royal Highness Princess Alice, Duchess of Gloucester, and the Somme Association was founded to manage the Ulster Tower and enable it to open for visitors. In 1994, a visitor centre adjacent to the tower was opened and a full-time caretaker appointed. 
The upper portion of the Ulster Memorial Tower provides accommodation for the Somme Association staff. Inside the grounds is a memorial in memory of the valour shown by all ranks of the 36th Ulster Division who served King and Country during the Great War. It commemorates the nine Victoria Cross winners. In March 2004, the Somme Association purchased Sleepful Wood, which is facing the Ulster Memorial Tower and from where the 36th Ulster Division made its charge on the 1st of July 1916. In July 2006, the Association opened a small area of the wood, which is now available for guided tours by prior arrangement. <laughs>